There is also sacred mountain and uh, used many uh, bamboo shen the masters lived and uh, they did practice in the guidebook they are saying something. But I think somewhere we can find the ruin of this, these palaces uh, of these kings. Maybe not only one place but could be two or three different places. But I have no very clear idea if we don't arrive there. When we arrive, maybe we can find something. This place is the residence of Chintunji, Chintunji Kanjime, because he's a very, very important master, recent in in Bamboo tradition, and that he wrote many astrology about astrology and. Uh, medicine combined with Tibetan ordinary diffused in Buddhism medicine and also Rambo tradition. He was realized to Rambo body. That's uh, his history. Qui è scritto tutto, spiegazione. Garuda, ha ha, c'è un regia, c'è un regia. So, 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 so. Ma l'ha trovata stamattina di eh. Dove l'ha trovata? La mattina nella rovina del monastero Saint Jean? Sì, monastero di Saint Jean. Sotto c'è una lettera.
Zulu. I started to read, studied Zwembo history. First thing, I know this place because uh -huh. this is a really source of Shenzhou's history. Uh -huh. do you think this place is, Mimichi? This place is uh, more than 3,000 years be because in the time of Temba Shinra, there had been 18 famous Shenzhong kings. So between these two kings, uh, these uh, 18 kings, there had been two kings, the residence is Chonung Munka. So that's the, the origin of Chonung Munka. After later, then continued all these uh, Shangjung kings most lived in this area. So they, uh, they used more than more than two thousand years continued this kingdom, and uh, later then uh, after Song Sen Gambo murdered, uh, then I think uh, this this place governed by Bumbos because there is no politic power, and uh, later. Lama Yishi will then become also Buddhists. Uh, they used to this place because very famous, important place. So I think we can have uh, three periods here in the history. We must uh, study that way. Did they mention in the books at all that the city was actually a cave city or not? No, I never, never read. But I was very surprised. Uh, before I had only idea uh, Chunungunka is something like a building, like a bodala or someone, mm. uh, this kind of uh, castle. But now I have idea very clear how they lived. It's also logical because 3,000 years ago there's no very use of houses. So most people living in a tent, uh, etc., nomad people. So then came and their kingdom, they, they built something like this. And this is also a huge uh, area. I mean, th thousands of people would have lived here. Yeah, also. yeah, mm -hmm. it's possible. All uh, Bamba history said, Chonungoka uh, Jawanyeyo is one of the most important place of business for all Asia places, like uh, Tajik and uh, India, and uh, also Odiana. That time, people travel here and they do business and also they have uh, connection. Another bedroom. Three bedroom. <laughs> here is another bedroom. Wow. Very big bedroom. So Fantastic. Three bedrooms yeah. and living room. Very comfortable. Huh? And uh, we can oh. see oh. it's very, very old because you see these smokes. We got four oh. centuries and centuries, not yeah. only one. Very Four years, thick. few years. Ka, I think, will be more famous than Tolin for the future because to, still today people don't know there exists really something really like this of Xiangyong Airport and also later. So when people discover, I think it will be very, very important. Indeed. Who are the people to discover? Yeah. Who? Who? Everybody. We. We. We uh, introduce. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Make understand people how is history and uh, also real condition. <laughs>